video today we're going to look at finding a percentage of an amount. Now what does that mean? Does it mean going looking for something? Going looking for your percentage somewhere? No, it means you're going to work it out. That's exactly what it means. Now thinking about this, if we look at this, we know our percentage is another way of looking at a fraction and if you're not sure what I'm talking about go back to my other video about changing a percentage to a fraction. So our percentage is just a fraction. So an amount is a number. So you're finding a, a finding a percentage of an amount is actually finding a fraction of a number. So let's look at how you can do that just now. So in my video about percentages to fractions, I did explain that it's often really, really important to try and remember what some of our most common percentages are as a fraction. And this is probably the most common one, 50% of something. So if you can't remember what that is, please do go back and do a bit more practice of converting percentages to fractions. Because today I am going to focus on just knowing them and being able to go straight to finding the percentage of the amount. So you might be given a question like, what is 50% of 60 pound? So 50% is a half. It's the same as 50 over 100 and 50 over 100 is a half. So half of 60 pound equals 30 pound. If you find half of something, you just divide it by two. Here's another problem. This time we've got 25%. So 25% is 25 over 100. Going back to my video about changing percentages to fractions, you know you have to simplify that and that 25% is the same as a quarter because 25 divided by 25 is 1, 100 divided by 25 is 4, so 25% is the same as a quarter. So a quarter of 60 pound. Use your own techniques that you find are easiest for finding a quarter. I think halving and halving again works pretty well. So half of £60 is £30, half of £30 is £15. And there you go. 25% of £60 is £15. Now we're being asked what 20% of £60 is. So 20%, again, it's good to try and remember what these are, just to show you. 20 divided by 20 is 1, 100 divided by 20 is 5. So 20% is the same as one fifth. So if you're finding one fifth of something, you're going to divide it by five. One fifth of 60 pound equals 12 pound. There will be 12 fives and 60. Now we have 10% of 60 pound. So 10% is a tenth. So it's 10 over 100 equals one tenth. And if you're finding one tenth of something, you're going to divide it by ten. So one ten of sixty pound equals six pound. Sixty divided by ten is six pound. So ten percent of sixty pound is six pound. What is one percent of sixty pound? Well, one percent is one over a hundred. So one hundred of sixty pound you have to divide that by 100. So that's going back to our place value knowledge. We divide by 100, everything moves down two place values. So that's in the tens at the moment, to the units, it'll, the six will be in the tenths place. So you could write that in two different ways, zero pound 60, or you could write it as 60p. That's 60 pound divided by 100 is 60p. Okay, so all the examples we've done so far have been unit fractions. That means the number on the top, the numerator, have always been one. With this percentage, it's not going to be a one. 75% is equal to three quarters. So if you're finding three quarters of something, the first thing you do is find one quarter. So one quarter of 60 pound. Did that earlier, half and half again and it was 15 pound. So three quarters, you're gonna multiply this answer by three. 15, 30, 45. So 75% of 60 pound is 45 pound. Here's another example where it's not a unit fraction. 40% 
is 40 over 100. To simplify that, you can put 20 into the top and bottom. So 40 divided by 20 is 2, and 100 divided by 20 is 5. So 40% is the same as 2 fifths. So the first thing you do when you're finding a fraction of an amount is find the unit fraction. So 1 fifth of 60 pound. We already worked that out earlier as 12 pound. 2 fifths, you multiply that answer by 2. So 2 fifths of 60 pound equals 24 pound. Okay, this is an interesting percentage, 5%, and that's because there's some wee tricks that you can do to make it finding this percentage easier. So if we look at it as a percentage, and that as a fraction, it's 5 over 100. To simplify that, you can make it 1 over 20. So you could do it this way, as in 1 20th of 60 pound equals 3. 3 pound. 20, 40, 60. There are 3 20s in 60. So you could do it that way. However, if you've got a more complicated number than 60, a wee tip for you would be to remember that 5% is half of 10%. So you could find 10% of £60, and that equals £6, because 60 divided by 10 is 6, and that's just because dividing by 10 is something that's really straightforward to do. And then you can half that. So 10% is that, and 5% of £60 is half that amount, which is £3. And that's just a wee tip. This video has been showing you how you can find percentages of amounts using your knowledge of fractions and the equivalent fractions for the percentages. There are lots and lots of hints and tips that you can use doing this. And if you've got your own ways of working at any of these percentages, it'd be wonderful for you to share them with everybody in the class. Good luck with this. And as always, any questions, please just ask.